Today at Uruguiro village, President Paul Kagame received former Ethiopian Prime Minister Hale Mariam Desain, who is also the patron for the African Electronic Group. Uh, and uh, of course, Malem Salim, the group's CEO and board chair. The AE Trade Group is developing a comprehensive e-commerce platform, Sokoku, to enhance the role of Africa's small and medium enterprises in inter in and intra-African trade. Rwanda will host the group's continental headquarters, working closely with regional offices. Now, to tell us more, my colleague Ethan Tashobia spoke to Rwanda's Minister of ICT and Innovation, Paula Ingabire, and started by asking her the significance of having uh, uh, the AE Trade Group set up their continental headquarters here in Kigali, Rwanda. Having uh, the Africa e Trade Group uh, headquarters best here in Rwanda is uh, something quite significant, uh, not just for Rwanda, but also for the continent. Uh, what uh, the Africa e Trade Group has done um, as a group that is uh, positioning itself to provide an Africa-wide e-commerce platform as well as advisory services to African SMEs. They have structured themselves in such a way that beyond the country programs that they will be leading in the different uh, African countries, they've selected uh, a number of countries to lead their regional offices so that they can better coordinate uh, the e-commerce industry growth across the region, but also facilitate, um, you know, trading between uh, uh, countries within particular regions. And above that, then you have the headquarters, which then would have the oversight in terms of coordinating all the activities that are happening at a continent uh, level, but also, uh, uh, you know, coordinating the, the regional offices. Uh, Rwanda, together with Egypt and uh, Ethiopia, did uh, put in a bid to host the continent-wide uh, office, headquarter offices. And uh, we were lucky to be selected and honored to be selected to host uh, the continental uh, headquarters here. And this is going to be a great milestone because it's anchored around uh, our vision as a country to be at the forefront of uh, ICT-led development. But at the same time, capitalizing on um, the fact that Rwanda has the most conducive doing business environment, uh, and we've opened up uh, and have set up ourselves um, to become home to many of the headquarter organizations and really leveraging uh, the convening power uh, that we could be able to um, you know, put in place as we encourage intra-African trade. Okay, if you could tell us uh, the progress so far um, regards the setting up of their uh, continental headquarters in Rwanda, how far, where will they be best? And what is the size of the investment in terms of uh, finances? So the bid was concluded in May this year, and um, around June we were um, notified that we had um, uh, been given uh, the opportunity to host the continental headquarters of the Africa E-Trade Group. Um, and today the uh, management team of the Africa E-Trade Group has been in the country for the last two days uh, visiting to follow up on some of the requirements uh, to set up shop here. Um, the plans and intentions are to have uh, their very fast uh, staff and offices set up um, by the end of this year. They will start by renting out uh, premises for the first two years, but the intention is to build out um, uh, a facility that will host at least 7,000 staff uh, over the next uh, five years, and this uh, facility will be best within the Kigali Innovation System, a city ecosystem that we have within the special uh, economic zone. So uh, part of the conversations that they've had while they're here is meeting the different SMEs because a lot of their work and support is going to be targeted towards empowering uh, SMEs with the different tools uh, that they have put in place beyond the e-commerce platform. We're looking at having an integrated multi-payment gateway system. And so they've really been scanning the environment to understand um, or, you know, the status of SMEs, the, the, the amount of digitalization that is happening and what needs to happen so that they are better positioned to tap into uh, the support programs that Africa E-Trade Group will be putting in place. They've also been speaking with a number of uh, organizations uh, so that we can better link with the initiatives in place. Um, Africa E-Trade Group is very keen to empower the youth, and so we've been working, they've engaged various youth organizations to understand 
what will be the best way to support uh, you know, and complement the initiatives today that are there to support innovation and, entrep and entrepreneurship. So this is their very first mission after the Rwanda was awarded um, uh, to be the headquarter offices. And they will, over the next six months, they are going to be focused on setting up uh, their headquarters here, looking at the physical infrastructure that is required, uh, both uh, soft and hard infrastructure that will be needed to get uh, the offices kick-started. Did the, the head of state, uh, President Paul Kagame, give them any uh, particular assignment uh, from the meeting they held uh, with him uh, earlier today? A lot, the conversations today with the president were focused mainly on um, you know, sharing the vision of Africa E-Trade Group, uh, obviously also looking at some of the obligations that we will take on as the host country, which will include uh, you know, uh, facilitating their setting, their setting up their offices here, uh, which will also include um, looking at how they can plug into the SME development efforts that we already have in place. Uh, but most importantly, um, you know, focused on how do we sensitize and create awareness so that, um, you know, the layman, the citizens, the SMEs mostly that are targeted can understand uh, what Africa E-Trade Group is going to benefit them most while they're setting up here, but also be positioned to, to tap into that. And so with the president did pledge, um, you know, the country's support in making this vision a reality but also making it a reality, not just for Rwanda, but for the rest of the continent, and, and making sure that um, all the support that is needed uh, to facilitate, to, 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 to engage uh, the Africa E-Trade Group as one of the initiatives that are going to champion and promote intra-African trade and promote the CFTA agenda. Minister of Vice City and Innovation, Apollo Ngavi, thanks for your time, Ged. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.